Hey there, and welcome to my channel. Let's dive into some myths, mistakes, and unsinkable surprises about Titanic. When Titanic sank, over 1,000 people lost their lives. But could some of those deaths have been avoided? What really happened to the unsinkable ship? When it set sail on its maiden voyage in 1911, Titanic was the biggest ship ever built. Packed with fancy features like a heated swimming pool, squash courts, and Turkish baths, it was a floating palace. But not everything was as unsinkable as advertised. The ship's hull was split into 16 watertight sections, so that if one part got damaged, the rest of the ship would stay afloat. But when Titanic struck an iceberg on April 14, 1912, at 11.40 p.m., at least four compartments flooded. That's enough to doom her. Poor quality wrought iron rivets, which contained too much brittle slag, broke under the icy North Atlantic shock. The slag was a waste product from the steel-making process, and using it in the rivets was a cost-saving measure that doomed the ship. The slag made the rivets more brittle and less elastic, so they couldn't hold up under pressure. As the temperature dropped, the brittleness increased, making them more likely to break. The North Atlantic also had unusually heavy icing this year, meaning Titanic was more likely to run into an iceberg. And when it did, the ship wasn't prepared. It took two hours and 40 minutes for Titanic to sink. But why? Because of those weak rivets, plates began popping apart as water rushed in at deadly speed. There were only 20 lifeboats for 2,224 people on board. Over 1,000 people had no escape. Some lifeboats left half empty as people scrambled for the exits. Only 705 people ultimately survived. In a bizarre twist, the chief baker survived longer in freezing water by drinking whiskey. He was one of only a handful of people who managed to get into a lifeboat. But after drinking whiskey, he was able to keep going for longer. It's a real case of liquid insulation according to legend. As the chaos unfolded, musicians famously played on deck, calming some passengers even as the ship broke in two and plunged 12,500 feet to the ocean floor. But the wreck wasn't discovered until 1985. The disaster led to major changes in ship safety standards worldwide, including more lifeboats, stricter ice patrols, and better radio communication. Thanks for watching. Which facts surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. See you next time.